mother. Funny. She thought she always said I was jealous of you. How do you mean, jealous? Well, the way you have got on. Me? Got on? Because I did nothing with my life. Sat in an office, you know, one job. What have I done? Well, you've done well. I wish I thought so. Well, your mother was right about that. You've got on. Terry might, uh, I don't know, done something. She was sort of special once. We talked about you last night. She might have done anything if she had the luck. Sunday nights, we mostly talked about you and Terry. If she wanted to. She'll be here. Any minute now, Dad. Any minute. So excited about your job? Yeah. Things looking up, moving we on. We talked about it. Oh. She'll be cold. It looks cold out there. Yeah. Switch on another bar, Alan. Make sure the room's warm. Right, yes, I will. She's very like your mother there. Did you know that? And Terry. Your mother couldn't stand a cold room. Her uh, mum's been sitting in next best thing to a furnace. Terry's the same. Will Terry be able to catch a train this time of the morning, this early? I don't know, Dad. If she can't, she'll get a taxi. But coming all this way? Well, she said she'd be here as quickly as she could. Ellen, look, you'll let her have it back, won't you? The money for the taxi. Yeah. But well, Teddy can't afford to come half across London in a taxi. I know, Dad. I've got no cash myself otherwise. When was it you spoke to her? Oh, 20 minutes, half an hour ago. Well, she should be here soon. Ah, she should be. Poor old Terry getting her out of bed. Uh, why don't you have a bit of a rest, Dad? I'll talk to Terry when she gets here. You see her a bit later. How oh. about that? You can never lie down. Well, how long will she stay? How do you mean? Well, she's got a job to go to, and so have you. Oh, well, I'll find them a bit later. Tell them. Oh, yes, I suppose. I'm not going to work. I'm not leaving you on your own today, Dad. There's no question of that. Yes. All right. Yes, but what about Terry? I mean, you can phone and then... But Terry... I don't suppose she cares one way or the other about the job. She just soon chuck it in as not. There's something else she can do. Mm, she changes her job, doesn't she? More often than people when I was... What a work she does. She should do something better. She could. Don't you think she could? Yeah, if she wanted to. Well, why doesn't she want to? She's happy enough. No, she isn't happy. She isn't. You can't make well, what's her... what's the point wasting her life, never doing anything, I never... I don't think it Terry all that much. Well, it should worry her. Uh, look, look at you. You can't compare... You're well, getting on, you know. Your mother was proud of you, seeing you make your way. Dad. You always talking about you. She used to tell people... Uh, I wish that... half the things she told people, just half of them were true. But your mother was proud of you. You can't compare Terry and she me. She tried. I've got a wife, I've got two Terry's children. Terry's got nothing. She... Why? Why is you that? You don't know, Dad. You can't say. Look. We, we don't want to quarrel, Dad. Not today. What about Terry? I'm not quarrelling. Good. What did her to have? Alan, I wanted to give her everything. Nothing I, I gave you her. You were married. How long were you married? Nothing. Oh, come on, Dad. You can't sit here and... I mean, you can't sit here, not the rest of your life. I loved her. Well, of course you did, I know that. Do you? I saw you, didn't I? Thirty-odd years, I saw you together. Yes. You loved her. When will she get here? As soon as she can. She knows, doesn't she? You've told her. I told her. Well, she should be here. She will be. I need her. Just as soon as she can get here. 
Well, I'm sorry you're here. I'm grateful, truly I am. Well, you don't have to. It's just... Terry, I... Yes. I do need... Now her mother... Her mother... Uh, easy, Dad. Take it easy. Now I need her. Look, I'll phone the flat, make certain she's left, all right? Thank you. And, um, I drink some of your tea before it gets stone cold. Excuse me. Certainly, sir. You gonna be much longer? Couldn't say. Well, I don't suppose you'd tell me. Oh, hello. This is Alan Stevens. I'm sorry to get you up yet again. Oh, I see. Well, I don't feel quite as bad. Jazz, already? Oh, thank you. That's what I wanted to know. Oh, it's just that my father was beginning to get a bit anxious and asked me... Yes, understandably. Yeah, well, she sh should be here any minute. I expect she had some difficulty getting a taxi. Yes, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Where's the detective sergeant? He's in the front room, sir. Well, if he wants to see me again. I expect he will. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry. Ellen? Hi, it's Alan. Don't wake you up. He's, um, he's well as can be expected. Rather better, really. The moment he's got everything pinned on Terry getting here. I don't know what magic healing she can work. Would you? Oh, thanks. There won't be anyone at the office yet. No, but when you do, will you tell her I won't be in today at all? Probably not tomorrow either. Oh, God. Um, no, I'd better phone him myself if you'll cope with my secretary. Have you got his home number there? Thanks. What? Oh, yes, of course. No, 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 I can remember it now, thanks. Um, but what about the kids? No, I mean, what about telling them? Yes, that's, I suppose it can wait. I don't know, it all seems... Um, yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Bye now. Times like this, I wish I smoked. Maybe bit my nails. Some nasty habit. Yes, sir. She's on her way now. She'll be here any minute, really. Sir. I expect she's in a pretty terrible state herself, running around Chelsea trying to find a taxi. As long as you're here. Some pretty odd looks from the neighbourhood coppers, too, I shouldn't wonder. It's just with Terry. I know, Dad, uh, yes. Are they still here? Oh, yes. What are they doing? Honestly, Dad, I don't know. Well, they take their time. Well, they get finished as quickly as they can. I expect they don't want well, to Well, everyone as on. quickly as they can. That's what you think, is it? They get through the. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's just. You're upset. Terry it's and them. It's natural. And you say all the time. It... Yes, I am upset. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's going to happen, do I? What do you mean, happen? With them? No, me. Well, you... I don't know what I'm going to do. You don't have to worry about that, do you? I have to worry, yes. Well, first of all, you're coming home with me. You stay with me. I live here. Yes, I know, Dad, but you can't... I mean, be reasonable on your own. You can't live here on your own. I live here... Alan's going to put the kids in together. They always get a kick out of sleeping in the same room, so that's no problem. You'll have, have little Sarah's room. No. We talk about it later. Can you put this house, this whole house, into one room? Were well, you going to bring it all with you? Well, I don't like your house. You want to sell some of the well things you don't need. You want to sell them, won't you, Dad? If I come to live with you and Ellen, I have to sell my home. Oh no! You know I didn't mean. If that. I can't keep, look, I've lived here. In God's name, if you want me to sell, if You're if right. you. 
You know how long I've lived here? With your mother? 36 years. Give or take a couple of months. Yes. Dad, there's no question of you having I live to... here. Look, I... We've got a home. You can share it. We want you to share it. You're going to Australia. Come with us. Whatever I do now... I don't think you understand. I know it isn't the right time. Look, whatever talk... I decide to do now, it's the last time, Alan. Where I go, that is where I'll die. Oh, Dad, come on. You think I can live forever? I don't think you need to worry about... Well, about something like that now, I don't think you ought to worry you about... You don't think I ought to worry about anything? Yes, I know. No, 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 you've got plenty All of things to worry about. All I have to, to do is about... to let you take care of me, you'll see. I never to worry again, worry about anything. I think you need a rest. I think you've earned a rest. Your mother said that. And she was right. How do you know? People who do things, they earn themselves a rest. What have I ever done? Dad, I don't want to make things worse for you. I've got old. I'm trying. That is my great achievement. See, I want to be as much help as I can. Old. I do think you ought to rest. I think I ought to die. Oh, Dad, for pity's sake. You got a better suggestion? Oh. I think it's altogether too early for sensible people to be up and about talking about anything. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't about. have to go upstairs. You can stay down here. It's, it's funny. Rest. It's like you said. You don't even Make myself a cup listen of coffee. to That's what I say. In the kitchen, I don't mind. I'm talking. I am talking. What? I am here. Dad, I'm sorry. It's a habit. You're talking to the children, just going on. I am sorry. There's something I'm trying to tell you. Yes. I want to live here. Oh, it's just not possible, Dad. I know you've lived here a long time. You want to go on living here. Well, what would I do anywhere else? I wouldn't know. You can't know. live here on your own. Terry can live here with me. Terry can look after me. Oh. She can run the house. Yes, of course. If she wants to go on working, well, she can get a job locally. Mm. She won't want to go on local working much longer, though. She told you? Your mother told me. And you're going to talk to her about this? She can make a home for herself. When she gets here? Well, she needs a home. Yes, I see. And then I can stay here. I want to stay here. Dad, I know here. Don't ask her. What do you say? Just don't. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Look, I've asked you. Come, come and live with us. It's so simple. I know. Yes, you want to look after me. I, I know. Thank you. No, no. Just don't start. Well, what? Just start? Don't. What? What are you trying to say? If she says no. Well, why should she? If she does. She won't. You'll finish up, you know, on your own. That's how you finish up. Then you blame us, left you to die old and alone. Oh, no. But yes. I won't give you the pleasure. You know she won't. You know? She's going to say no. Dad, come on. You know she is. When I've asked her, when, if that's what she says, yes, all right, no, then no, I'll know. No, you know, and still you're going to ask her. You know Teddy so much better than I do. Oh, I know her, yes. I've watched her, I've thought about her. Terry, 30 years old, Terry on her own. Terry, frightened, sick, Terry going out of her mind. No, don't speak to me. Have like you that. thought about her? She's my daughter. You, you may find that she stopped. As far as Terry's concerned, about the age of 16, she stopped being your daughter. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You think people don't change from 3 to 30? They don't stop being someone's daughter. Or on a piece of paper, yeah, where it says Theresa Ann Stevens, father, Edward Arnold Stevens. But here, there's no piece of paper, no daughter. Well, you can't. Stop just because you can't stop being someone's daughter. Look, I told you yesterday, just... You didn't hear a word, did you? You felt just like Terry all the time, feelings. I think. Look at things and then think about them. Don't, uh, bloody, don't feel. How many times have I you got to... You don't have to be alone. No one wants you to be alone. You're so certain Terry's going to say no. Yes, I am. Well, why, how can you be so certain? I know, Terry. This Terry. You're wrong. I am not wrong. You're jealous. How do you mean? You know I'd rather live with Terry. Oh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> You'd rather live with Terry than live with 
God, heart, wings and halo. I've always known that. She won't say no. Come in. Mr. Stevens, I wonder, uh, can I have a word with you? Me? Yes, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Hey, you talk to Terry when she gets here. Tell me what you decide. I'm truly... If I've hurt you, Alan, I, I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. Making plans for people has always been a failing of mine, expecting everybody to... <laughs> anyway, you're probably right. I am jealous. You want to live with Terry, all right. Why shouldn't you? I still think it'll be better my way, but there you are. No, it, it, it's more practical if Terry comes here. Mm. Why don't you get some rest? You look whacked. I don't think I could make that trip all the way to Australia. Best thing you could do, have the time of your life. No, I'm too old. Here, I, I, I belong here. I, know I don't want to twist your arm, Dad. You do just what you want to do. Someone's got to look after Terry. Oh, yeah. Yes, you want to speak to me? Uh, one or two things I want to clear up. Right. Uh, where should we go? Kitchen. Hey, look, do you mind? I'll phone my boss. Tell him I won't be in today. Um, I'd like to catch my home. Fine, yeah, go ahead. I won't take a minute. All right, thanks. Oh, hello, Mr. Thompson. I'm sorry to get you up at such an ungodly hour. Uh, yeah, yes, it's Alan. Yes, I'm afraid it is. I wanted to tell you myself. My m mother died during the night. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, completely. He's, uh... Oh, he's as well as can be expected, I suppose. Look, I wanted to tell you and uh, say that I thought I'd come in tomorrow, if that's all right. Oh, yes, well, as a matter of fact, I think I would rather, you know. Yes, well, if, if there is anything, of course I'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Disturb anything important? What do you mean? When you were talking to your father. Oh no, no, no. no. You just well, finished anyway. Oh, there's so many things to see to at a time like this. I suppose so. Uh, just at the moment, I'd like him to get some rest. I suppose he will. What did the doctor say? Much what you'd expect. Talking about a man my father's age. You'll have to watch him pretty carefully these next few days. Yeah, well, that's more or less what the doctor said. As a policeman, I make a very good doctor. Routine apology. I'm sorry this has to happen now. I'm sure you'd rather leave it. No, not really. I think I'd rather talk about it to you than facts. Uh, well, we're going to talk facts. That's right. Much less frightening than the, uh, well, the implications. I should concentrate on the facts. Exactly. You saw your mother yesterday? Yes, I did. I came over in the afternoon. How did she seem? Well, before I can give you any kind of answer to that question, I'm afraid you'd have to know my mother and that. Uh, she was like herself? Oh, very like herself. My sister was here, too. Oh, yes. My mother was always most like herself when the whole family was gathered together. The whole family being you, your father, your sister and uh, your mother? Yeah. You're expecting your sister now, aren't you? Well, she should be here more or less any minute. Right. This whole thing... Uh, not what you'd have expected. Just about the last thing, honestly, the very last. What time did you leave the house? Uh, early evening. I was downstairs talking to my mother and then I went up and said, you know, I was going to my father. You don't know exactly when that was. What well, does it matter? 
Not really. It uh, has to go into the report. There's no crime, suicide. It isn't a crime. No, sir. And you make an investigation, well, Scotland Yard would be proud of you. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Uh, I'm making things easy for you. You're being very cooperative. It's a question of the report, as you said yourself, the facts. Yes. It's a tragic business. It must have been uh, just before six I left here last night. I was home in time to see, um, what's it? That kid's cartoon. It comes on about six, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, I got home in time to see that. You live quite close? Ten minutes. Less, probably. You spoke to your mother before you left? Yes, I did. Well? She said, when are we going to see you again? I said, I, I didn't know, fairly soon, sometime this week. She said, uh, when am I going to see the children? That also was a standard question. Yes. Well, it sort of went on like that. It usually does. She feels I neglect her. I feel... Would you like a cigarette? Thanks, sir. If you don't mind. No, no. Make yourself at home. Things usually get that bit more tense when Terry's around. Terry? Your sister? Short for Teresa. Yeah, the family gathering is pretty ugly sight. Your sister quarrels with your mother? Well, there's some things they don't uh, agree about, you know. Such as? You do better talking to her. Right. I didn't know she was going to be here. None of us did. She just looked in. Sort of habit with Terry, you know, looking in. Time passes, no one here somewhere, and suddenly she looks in. When I got here, Situation normal. Mum in the kitchen, she was making a cake. Big celebration. Dad in the front room, he was watching TV. He was well out of it. And Terry, she opened the door. And the atmosphere. As a family, you don't get on very well together. As a family, we don't exist. We don't know each other. My mother and father, they live together. They probably even talk to each other once in a while. And Terry, me? They don't know me. I left home, when was it? 10, 11 years ago. I got married. They don't know my wife. They know, yeah, what she looks like. They probably even recognize her voice on the telephone. And know her. Ellen. Like they know the inside of Tutankhamun's tomb. Why did she break the china? Hmm? Why did my mother, the tidiest person in the whole world, bar none, you wouldn't see a crumb on the carpet. You give my kids a rock cake, one in each hand, on with a dance. When they finish, two minutes, you wouldn't see a crumb. Why did she break the china? Hmm? Why'd, why'd she throw the knives, the forks, and... Do you know? No, we don't. Collective we? Sorry, it's a habit. No, I don't. You gonna call in another opinion? I'm gonna talk to the inspector. Will he know? He's had a lot of experience. Because yeah, if he does, if if he understands better than, you, than we understand, you tell me. Yes. Because I'd like to understand. Well, things would be a great deal easier all round. Well, for the moment, let's forget all round. Me, I'd like to know. This is something I, you know, I gotta live with the rest of my life. Yes. I talked to her yesterday. Yes? Things I said to her. What sort of things? I was angry. She made me angry and I said things to her, things I thought, and, you know, never said, wouldn't have said. God, never in a thousand years if I'd thought. It isn't likely anything you'd have said at that stage. Have you got any matches? Yes, I have. Something I didn't say. Fairly normal pattern, is it? All this breaking up the Abbey Home. There are patterns. I'm not greatly interested in them. You've seen it before. I've seen something like it, yes. <laughs> I answer your questions. You don't answer mine. She was one woman, one person. Sarah Stevens. This yeah. is something she did. It's 
bound to be different from something, even something similar any other person might do. Different from anything she might do. She did it. True. Using a method about as difficult and painful yeah. as she possibly could. She could have gassed herself. Yes. Oh, no. It's too dangerous for Dad. She'd be dead, and gas still turned on. I don't know. It sounds like that. Huh? Sleeping pills? Oh, that shows. Uh, really? That? She should be here. She should answer that one for herself. She didn't believe in sleeping pills. She didn't believe in aspirin. If God means you to have a headache... ...difficult... ...painful... ...I don't think she had any choice. Practical choice in the circumstances. She always said... ...of one thing she always said about me... ...I can hear her now, I, I can hear her saying it. You're so cold, Alan. Don't you feel anything anymore? In a couple of weeks, I wouldn't come and see her. She'd say, didn't you know how much your father misses you? The first thing she said, the first, when I walked in the house, hello, stranger. The first thing, always. No, no, I don't feel anything, not anymore. I taught myself. Those feelings, what do feelings get you? What's the first prize for feeling, pain. No, I don't feel love, I don't want to feel anything ever all my life. I'm sorry, I don't know what started. No need to apologise. No, no, why should you have to listen to all that? It's pathetic, really, I'm sorry. You talked to your mother before you went home? Yes, I did. I, uh... I told her I'd made up my mind to take a job. I don't think you told me about that. A job? I don't think you asked me. I'm going to Australia, taking my family with me. We should be away some years, as far as it's possible to estimate. Years? Well, I'm well, paid for a trip home every two years, but the amount of time I shall be away, it's difficult to say. You told your mother? Yeah, we talked about it most of the afternoon. Everyone had a great deal to say, advice to give. Families always have a great deal of free advice to offer. Was she upset at the idea? No, 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 on the contrary. She, uh, she thought I ought to take the job. I mentioned it at tea time. She was the first to say, you know. No? What did she say? You mustn't think about us, Alan. Your father and I can manage quite well. We've got the house, we've got enough money. The only thing that matters, really, is your career. It's word for word as she said it, if you uh, want to write it down. What did your father say? Not much, I don't remember. Is it important? Dad's never got much to say for himself at the best of times. Oh, when he's talking about the old days, picnics, day trips to the seaside, sun always shining, and happiness, you could buy it in packets, three for a penny. And when it comes to talking about my job, well, he doesn't really know anything about it. I did talk to him later on. He thought I ought to take the job too. The last thing you said to your mother. Now why is that so important? I don't see why the last well, thing I said. to know the state of mind. Entirely calm. It doesn't make it any easier for us to understand why a few hours later she took her own life, does it? Mind how you go. Hmm? I started the engine, I waved to her out of the window, she said, mind how you go. How does that help? Perhaps if you told me what you said before that. Take the job, go to Australia. I hope I never see any of you again. I didn't kill my mother. I didn't make her. I didn't. Of course you didn't. Bloody children. It's the only time I ever heard her swear. She didn't want you to take the job? She didn't want me to take my children away from her. I see. Oh, no. In 35 years, you couldn't see them. No. Whatever I say, huh? Customer's always right, that your motto. I thought the police had all the answers. Look, I don't argue with you so well, that get me. Maybe thrown out the house. Well, I'll leave soon enough so when I've made the necessary inquiry. You're taking God's own time about it. Well, there are some aspects. Aspects? What aspects? Aspects of what? 
Why don't you sit down, sir? I don't want to sit down, sir. Yes, I suppose it is taking rather a long time. Treading carefully, you always take that bit longer than usual. Treading carefully? Are you treading carefully? Yes, sir. Well, I'd hate to be around. I... And what's it like when you don't tread carefully? I think your mother killed herself. And I think all the evidence points conclusively to that, as a fact. When I make my report to the inspector, he's going to say, you sure, Wilson? Absolutely certain? I say, I don't know what you mean. No. I'd like to have a word with your father before I go. Yeah, now, just a minute. There's some... something here. There's something, I don't know. Nothing. Won't take more than a couple of minutes with your father. You mind if I'm there too? I don't mind at all. Look, I'm sorry. Just now I used you to you advantage. Don't have to apologise to me, well, sir. You could hardly get up and walk out. Oh, as I said at the beginning, I, know, I should yes. apologise to you. You see, my mother was a very simple person. She was easily hurt. Unfortunately, she spent most of her life asking to be hurt. Perhaps in the end, one of us... That's a question, isn't it? One of us. Stevens. Question without an answer. Question it isn't really, is it? Worth pursuing. It's funny you know, how easy it is to well, apologise to, to you. apologise to me. How difficult to... Would you... Just a form of words. For your own benefit. Doesn't mean anything. No. Dad? Oh, don't wake him. I'll call back this afternoon. I'm not asleep. What is it? What do you want? Sorry, Dad. I thought you were having a rest. Is Terry here? Not yet. Where is she? I don't know, Dad. She'll be here. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you for a moment, Mr. Stevens, if you feel up to it. What is it? What do you want to know? But first, I want to apologise for the time I've taken rummaging around. Now you have your job to do. I'm afraid it must have seemed to you I was pretty slow doing it. I haven't thought about it. One or two things bothered me at first, but I think it's all clear enough now. Is it? I won't have to take up any more of your time. That makes no difference to me. It's just the one thing I'd like to ask. Eh? When you found Mrs. Stevens, you didn't find any sort of note she might have left for you, or your son? She left nothing. Well, it's often the case. Nothing. That... Thank you, Mr. Stevens. She killed herself. Well, all the indications. Why? I'll go. You said everything is clear enough. Do you know why? Well, no, Mr. Stevens. It isn't likely anybody can tell you that. Where have you been, for pity's sake? I thought you shut said up. you... Shut up, will you just shut up? Ever since I got here, five, six hours ago, I've heard nothing. But where's Terry? When's she going to get you here? You phoned up in the middle of the night? All through the night, I phoned you ten well, times. Well, you're trying to come running. What do you think? It's easy this time of the what morning? What happened to you? People just don't cooperate six o'clock in the morning. Why wouldn't you speak to me? I didn't want to speak to He's you. He's going out of his mind. Look, as I need fast as Terry. I could, I promise you. All the time. Where is she? It's true. Yes. She's dead. Yes. Killed herself. Cut her wrists. No. He, he found her. Where? Is she? Where is she? At the hospital, the um, mortuary. It's true. I couldn't believe. Yes, I, I didn't believe. All the way from home when I was coming over here, Dad found me. It isn't true. That's all I could think of. It can't be true. I said it out loud once, at least. I said it isn't true. A taxi driver, you know, what are you doing running about the streets this time of the morning? When I said he sort of helped me into the cab as if I was sick, as if I... I told Thompson. Mm. Uh, he said something about um, tragic poor old Alan. I wanted to say... It isn't me. 
She's dead. I'm alive. Oh, you're alive too, and she's dead. When Why? Thompson said that, I thought, yes, she is dead. The taxi driver, when I told now, him. Now, she is dead. Because I've told someone, and, and they believed me. Now. Is this your sister? Yes, it is. This is Detective Sergeant Wilson. You have my deepest sympathy. Look, I won't worry you any more at the moment, but I would like to talk to you at some point, Miss Stevens. Yes, of course. Well, I could call back or... Well, I, I don't know where the police station I'll is, but I'm sure... Around that. It might be better uh, at the station. I'd rather. Right. I'll see you later, then. Terry, is that you, Terry? Don't worry about is me. Dad? Terry, come here. Now, Terry, I want to talk to you. Bye for now. Terry! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I told you, Dad, didn't I? Just as soon as she could get here. You let me. Ellen says I have to go and live with him. I want to live here. I want to go on living here. Terry, um... How can you? Well, we'll talk about it later. No, I want to talk about it now. We've got plenty of time, haven't we, Terry? We'll talk about what? Terry... Give her a chance, Dad. She's only just got here. I want to live here. Why did she... Why did Mum kill herself? We don't know. But you were here, you were here. What happened? Well, he doesn't know. How can he know? Well, he was here. It was upstairs. And you didn't know? What, what, that she was dying? For pity's you sake. You didn't know? What were you doing? Leave it. Well, how is it possible a woman cuts it? And you were there, just up there, and you didn't know? She was on her own. She liked to be on her own in the evenings. She always stayed down when I went up to bed. She liked being on her own, Mum. Yes, she always stayed down. Oh, okay, here. she always stayed down here, right? You went up to bed. And that means that is supposed to mean she liked being on her own. No one there isn't anyone hated being on their own more than Mum. You go up. She always told me. Supposing she hadn't, would you have stayed down here with her? Would you? I've got a few things to do. I'll pot her down here. So what happened? What did you say? Terry. Look, suddenly, you know what it means, do you? Well, Mum hasn't seen the inside of a church for how long since she got married? Since after you were born. She believed, I mean, hellfire and damnation. I was upstairs. I was waiting for her to come well, to waiting. bed. Just because you Meaning feel... Meaning you wanted her to come to bed. Maybe you have more than something nothing, to do I with it. Nothing, I have nothing to do Leave with it. Leave him alone. Look, if anyone knows, no one he knows. was upstairs. Where were you? Should I have been here? Why did she break so many things? Favourite things. What? She did what? Nearly the whole tea service... Go easy on Smash to pieces. Don't take him through it all again. Mum broke something. She uh, broke a vase in the front room. It isn't like her. She must have made a noise doing all that. I found everything on the floor. One hell of a noise. I couldn't believe it. I came down and everything. I looked in all the rooms and everything broken and. Where were you, Dad? Ten years? Twenty? Terry, it no. could have been you. It could have been me dying, you know. I thought what then, did she I do thought, to you, Dad? How could you honey, let her leave what's been her? going on? I, what, I didn't 30, get anything. 40 I thought... years back? What do you mean? Was it so much better? I don't know what you mean. 30 years ago, what did I you do? I don't understand. Escape? All right, that's enough. All right? Enough. Come on, Dad. Hmm? What does she mean? You know what I mean. Been up all night. It's time you went and had a rest. Come on. No, I don't you know. You do. You do leave know. Him alone. Look, he's not one of your kids. He doesn't need you. Terry, look after me. Dad, in the name of heaven, what did Mum do to you? Oh, stay with me. Why do you let her die? Shut up! You killed her! You can have the house. Terry! You can do anything you like What's with What's the matter you? with you? Oh, why didn't he? Why couldn't he stop he her? He was upstairs. Listen, a million miles she away, knew Captain where he was. sleeping there. He was thinking about you, all he ever thinks about. Kids, that's all he ever thinks about. You and me when we were kids, Michael and little Sarah. Some kids, any kids. You don't have to be afraid of kids, what can they do? Tell them, what can they say? What do they know? Tell them anything, they'll believe you. Look at their faces, laugh at them, believing. There's a man in the mood and he's made of cheese, there's gold at the end of a rainbow and it turns to ashes. There's a river and on the other side, tell them, knights on white horses, tell them pain goes away because Dad is here. He knows you're pregnant. He should worry. He does. One more kid. He worries himself sick. Yes, I can see. Well, you don't get your hands on him. Oh, he doesn't know what you're talking about. don't understand. How many things am I holding up? Yes. You bitch. It's a game, is it, Dad? We all play it when things get rough and we don't want to know, when people get nasty and we want Listen out. Listen to yourself. It's a great let's pretend game. Let's pretend it isn't happening. Let's pretend it's 20 years ago and the world was no, young. No, I'm, I'm, I'm couldn't stand the sight of you. 
She loves she me. She can't stand to have you in the house. Loves me. She's dead. The last thing she said no, to no, me... No, no, don't tell if me. If Terry I, has I don't to behave, want to why hear. does she come and see us? Your mother's dead. I wouldn't have her in but the house if I hadn't... That. Yes. No, love. If it wasn't for her father, I wouldn't say open that. the door well, to her. Mean. Yes. She's dead. Seeing you, hearing you, I don't blame her. Your mother's dead. Leave her rest. No. She didn't die, did she? Just die of old age. An accident looking the wrong way and pow, she killed herself. Playing dramas, melodramas. Fact! You're tearing everyone in reach because you want to scream. Look, we'll let her rest soon enough. We'll burn her and throw her ashes onto the wind and then we'll let her rest. Ten days, we'll forget her for an hour, ten weeks for a day and ten years. As if she never was. No, we, we'll bury her. We won't... Yes, Dad. She wanted to be buried. She didn't want to die. We, we talked about it. She wanted to be buried. Just in case. It's all right, Dad. I'll see to it. Don't worry. You know, tomorrow or next week or sometime in the future, they might open all the graves and everybody, everybody up. There'll be some funny-looking people about then. Shut up. That's Mum each way. Two Bob each way. Never to win, because you can't What's win. What's the matter with you? I, I didn't have time. I didn't tell her. I think you're mad. I was here and I didn't say. I wanted to say. Once, do you know? The thing in all the world, the one thing I really wanted was your mind. That whatever it is way of thinking, seeing that you have, you know? Oh, yes. The way you could make up, oh, God, the world you lived in, the private world. I wanted to be part of that world. <laughs> games. I wanted to be part of it so very much, just for a moment. Just games. <laughs> I never had a dream, you know, the whole of my life. Well, how lucky can you get? Oh, you could see things. I remember sitting in a train with you, looking out the window. Oh, God. Now, looking at the same things, I knew you were seeing gold. Trees and fields. Horses, men on horses. And I wanted your teddy bear. Uh, running with a train, I could see you waving oh, to oh, them. Oh, with the cross eyes. And the train is sort of... Coach, some great ceremonial coach. You used to have him tucked up in bed with you Ooh, every night. I wanted to be you. I wanted to see the things you could see. I would have given anything. I wanted to think and to dream. What do you call him? Like the princess and going half across the world with that man. Yeah, you gave him some special name. Do you remember that story? Do you? Hmm. I could see that story when you told it to me. I could see the princess. I remember. I could see the man. Dad told me that story. Dad made it up for me when I was frightened. Dad? He always used to tell me stories. Well, that story? When you've gone to sleep. The princess? Every story I ever knew. <laughs> I thought you made it up. I always thought Dad that you... Dad told me. Lied to you. Did I say, did I ever tell you anything? I can do anything. Did I say that? Uh, easy, Dad. Your mother it's said, all right. get out of the way. Did I say to you, tell me, did I ever pretend? Dad. Your mother said, should you blame me? What did Mum say? My fault. She said it was my fault. What does she mean? What's she talking about? You. Your fault? I lied to you. I made you think it'd be all right, everything would be all right, as long as you told me, because I can make... Mum said, what was your fault? I let Terry think I could keep her safe. I wouldn't let anyone hurt her. Yes. I never said that. Over and over. No. Yes, you did. But you were frightened of the dark. I believed you. I had to say something. I believed you. I said I didn't think anything. Just to keep me quiet. Comfort you. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. You were crying. I'll keep you safe. It's the middle of the night. Daddy won't let them hurt his baby. Your mother said... You wanted to believe you. Only you in all the world could keep me safe. I wanted to stop you, you crying. You didn't have to say that. Your mother... She's dead. never more alive. You, both of you, make me sick. Well, tell us a sad, sad story of your life. You were born when I was five. End of sad story. And I thought you loved your baby sister. The first time I wanted you to... I don't know what I wanted exactly. Wanted to kill me? No. I was six years old. That makes any difference. No, I didn't want to kill you. Well, just put me away. 
Yeah. You're finished with her. Play with me now. Uh, one thing I had done before you were born. I was four. I don't remember. Something like I put my hand on a light bulb. Everyone told me all the time, don't play with the light, Alan. Leave the light alone. Don't touch it, Alan. You'll burn yourself. Well, this time I touched it and I burnt myself and I cried. And everyone said, what a silly thing to do. Yeah, it sounds pretty silly. The first time I thought, go away, Terry. Don't be here anymore. The first time I thought, I hate you. Six years old. I turned on a lamp. There's that lamp. I let the bulb get hot. I knew it wasn't hot when you switched it on. No. I waited. And when it was hot... Oh, no. I put my hand on it. And I held tight onto it with my fingers. Yes. And then... Well, I was only a baby, really. I let go. I love you. Really? Did you do that? Could I make it up? Could I imagine something like that? I remember. You found me. Because you love me? No, no, no. I hated you. Why shouldn't you hate me, too? I was always a spoiled brat. You were my sister. Everyone said you must love your baby sister. No, that's enough to put you off God. I knew they were right. You were very little. You were very big, six years old. <laughs> there was no one I could ask. Dad? Well, don't blame me if they're all as thick as Nelson's column. What about Mum? Oh, she would have switched on the lamp. She would have known what I was trying to do. You never ever understood about her. Yeah. You made it all up, the whole bit, just for my benefit. You made it all up. No, it's true. And I believe, my God. I didn't make it up. It all happens to fit so... Oh, get I stuffed. I remembered. Break crumbs and parsley sauce. told you. What are you talking about? I thought you'd be interested. Mum would have switched on that lamp. What sort of... How can you... You're the one that is supposed to, what is it, love our late lamented mother. Everyone knows I couldn't stand the sight. How can you say a thing like that about her? I think it's true. It's no more true than Father Christmas. I thought about Mum. What do you think I was doing? No, no. Every day of my stupid you life. Never and thought then when about I came her, here especially to say, I didn't her. say any of the. Like Dad, you felt. Oh, sure. Great oceans of feeling. What are you talking about? I don't feel things. It's so long now, I don't think I can. And that puts you one up, does it? Thinking as done by the best, the very best people. I never go anywhere these days without thinking, says the right honour. All the shouting. So I have you, pardon the expression, the distinct screaming. feeling you're trying to tell me Who's something. Who's to blame? Unfortunately, Why did she kill through. herself? Do you know? I'm thinking about it. Well, if you come up with an answer... Will you, you accept your share of the responsibility? I wasn't here. There was no yes, one. Yes, he was alone. here. She sent him away. I've got a few things to do. I'll potter down here. What did she say to you? Don't come and see us again. Take the job. Go to Australia. I hope I never see any of you again. I don't want to go to Australia. She's here now. I want to stay as I am here. I want to go on living here. Well, there's no accounting for tastes. Ask him. Terry. Dad's got something he wants to say to you. I'm going home. You've got to ask her, Dad. S stay here, Terry. Please don't go away. All right. I'll phone the office. That isn't what he means. Stay with me. Ask him. You need a home. I've got home. It's a, a real home with, with the garden. Well, the weather damp keeps coming through the walls, I'll soon be able to... What are you talking about, Dad? Uh, I'm really no trouble. I'll look after myself. But... It's not the point, it's just knowing you're somewhere close, knowing I can find you. He wants me to stay here, live, to live here. Easy, Terry, think. He's got to be, you can't be 
Serious? Yes, you are. I could be like... No, no, I mean, no! Day, no. Study, all the good Look, days. I hate this house. I couldn't live here. All right, you've made your me. point. I couldn't live here. You could start all over. Look, start again. No, Terry, I'm Terry. Sarah, you need Sarah. Start again. He's villain, is he? Big villain, black hat and moustache. He makes me feel... He asks you I after feel me. Suddenly he's the big villain. He's your father. Well, you look after him. He doesn't want me. He can't have me. I told him. Well, he should have listened to you. Your mother told me. I should have listened to her. Yes. Make them, love them, give them everything. When was that, Dad? When did you give me us? When? They'll go away. They'll never see you again. I should have listened to her. The whole bit. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is. I see it, Dad. It's great. It turns out sad in the end. Still, all the best things do. Now I'm going. You go away. You let him take me to Australia. You'll never see me again. I trust you. Your fault, not his. He told me trust You me. do everything you're told? Well, I wasn't even six. A little man says, I didn't trust know he was me. A He's man. asking. Well, He's not promising. Know? You know, no. What difference does that make? Forgive him. Oh, easy for you to say. Think about what, take it. Take up oh, Stop making snide remarks. Well, it's the way I was brought up. You're quick or you're dead. Try. All the time, me. Try something, do something, don't do something. Look, some of the time, aren't you supposed... But who can get close enough? Do you want to see the scars? Relax. You tell me something often enough, I'm a very good pupil. I'll believe you. My mother told me... I, I never should play with the gypsies in the wood. I'm thinking. Yes, I know. Suppose you don't go to Australia. I'm going. No, you said it wasn't decided. You said you had the weekend to make up your mind. The weekend's over. Well, perhaps if you didn't go, Dad wouldn't mind so much. Ask him. Dad. I belong here. He minds. This is my home. Why shouldn't I live here? Right, you're right. No problem. You live here. Now, can I go? No, you can't. Well, it was a sort of rhetorical question, Dad. You can't just walk out. I wasn't really asked. I need you. More telling. You've got to stay here. There's with no me. got to about it. Well, someone's Look, got Dad, to. Dad, he's begging you on his knees. You're my daughter. He needs you. I need you. Dad, once in your life, for someone else, hmm? Oh, we could have a wonderful life. We too. could have nothing. I know all about the baby it's your my mother baby. told me. I could help you. No. Have you got any money? You'll need a lot Dad, of money. Dad, somehow on We could have own. a wonderful Leave life. Leave me alone. All my life, Dad, you've hung on to me now. Go. But your mother made you go away, Terry. No. Now surely you can come home. It wasn't, Mum. Look, anything Dad. you want, anything I can give Don't you. Don't beg her. You, Dad, I had to need it to get away from you. Look, we had the house redecorated. Look, I can't come back here and let you go. Oh, Please, repainted. let you do to me what you did to Mum. Listen to let her. Let you kill me. What are you saying? What do you mean? Let me alone. You said about your mother, you said something. What is Don't it? Don't shout at me. I mean, who are you shouting at me? But I'm your father. You're an old man I've known all my life. Don't speak to me like I that. I don't even like you very much. Show some respect. I don't respect you. I remember my father. Now leave him alone. I have stood for you talking to him, talking like that. Look, your father's dead like my mother. A fat lot of difference it makes what either of them would have stood for. Uh, go away, go on. Look, I want to go. He told me. He all said... my life I listened to you two. All my miserable life. Now today... Can't you for a moment think? Oh, look, if you say that honestly, what happened last more? night? What happened last night? I don't need you to tell me what happened last night. I think about that. D Dickens. What do you think? What do you. If you want to behave like that, what? But you go and do it in your own home. Go and live with him, Dad. The two of you, I don't understand. You don't think? You think I'm such an old fool. Why don't you, both of you, go away? Leave me alone. I'll get along. I can manage. I've managed before. He doesn't want to. Be off, both of you. Look, honestly, Dad, if I thought... Oh, God, if I thought it was possible, if I thought it could work... I can manage. But once upon a time... Here we go. There was a lovely princess. You were glad enough... 
was a time, Terry, when you not did nothing more than for me to tell you that story over and over again. Yes, there was a time. Now it's gone. And I'm going to. Yes, better if you do. All my life. It's no good. I live with Alan. I'll go to Australia. Never see you again. You two, there was something. I mean, you had something. Perhaps we didn't deserve it. One day you'll be sorry. Maybe it was a mistake. I hope you'll be sorry. Maybe it was meant for two quite different people. I, I would have given anything. You will be sorry. Yes, I will. That was great, you know. That's stupid, trying to do things your way. Oh, no. All I did was frighten him. It was great. You didn't make it up. I never did anything half. I don't want to stay here anymore. Yes. All right, Dad. If we're going, I want to go. There's a couple of things I want to pick up in my room. Okay. There's a case in the attic. No, I'll come back. No, I don't want it. I want to look at it. I can wait. No. I? The photograph. I am quite certain the photograph is in that case. Photograph? I, I thought suddenly last night. I, I know where it is. It's in that old case. I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. The school photograph. Oh, God. I want to show it to Gordon. Well, it's not important. It can wait, surely. I shan't come back here again. Where is it? Case is in the attic. With five trunks, three boxes, and the dust of ages. Good luck. An absolute mistake. What do you want to take, Dad? Apart from your toothbrush. I don't know. Ellen, what shall I need? Not much. Not for the moment, anyway. I'll put a few things in the suitcase. Just the basic essentials. Right. You're going? Upstairs, Dad. Just upstairs. Well, you won't... without saying goodbye. Do I ever? Try to understand things you say. Yes, I do. I wanted to help you. Mm. Your mother said... Whatever mother said. I don't know. Mr. Stevens, I was just wondering, would your father like to come and have his breakfast with me? Oh, well, Well, the children know. have gone to school. It's all quiet. Very kind of you no to one. offer, Mrs. Oh, Hayton. I think of the sort. Your mother was a good neighbour to me. Many of the time. matter of fact, I don't think we'll be here much longer. Are you taking him home with you? Yes, I am. Oh, that's the best thing, much the best. Yeah, I think so. After all, you've got your own life, haven't you? Yes, well, it isn't the case oh, of that. Have. It's... There's a bulb upstairs, Alan. You'll need a bulb. Hello, Mr. Stevens. I know where it is. I'll help them find it. I won't be there. Your mother always kept one handy, just in case. My wife's bound to have something ready for him. Well, he looks so old, doesn't he? I'm sorry, Mr. Stevens. What did you say? It's, it's very kind of you to offer. It's no more than your mother's done for me many a time. I'd rather get him home. He's tired, I suppose. Been up all night, has he? Well, we all of us I have been. I didn't know your sister was here. She got here a short while ago. You were talking about her just yesterday, your poor mother. So, um, perhaps I could phone you, Mrs. Hayter. Oh, if there's anything you need. Oh, yes, of course, you must. I've got a key to the back door. Your mother always left me a key. We often, you know. Yes, she was always talking about you. I shall miss her. Honestly, I don't know what she'd have done without you. She Alan. was more, well, much more than just a neighbour. Yeah, yes, of course. Come along, Alan. Yeah, I'd better go and see what it is he wants. He'll miss her too. Jenny's found the bulb. I don't suppose he's taken it in, not yet, not properly. Um, no. Your mother used to say... Alan, that what are you doing down there? I'm sorry, Mrs. Hayter. No, no, you go along. I know what he gets like. Yes. Well, if there's anything you want, you know where I am. You're very kind. If you want to leave my telephone number with yes, anyone... Yes, well, th thank you. I'll leave you to get on. We're waiting for you, Ellen. All right. Give us a chance. What's she want? Ah, just being helpful. Settled by the day. This is ridiculous. Do you think you can manage, Alan? I can manage. Where's your spirit of adventure? Do you want to go clamouring oh, up? Oh, no, that's it? man's work. I've got the bulb. Terry found it. Good for Terry.
Right then. Yeah, here you are. It's all right for you. <laughs> the dickens are you two laughing about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ta -da! Be careful, Helen. Yeah, I'll be careful. Now mind how you go. Don't drop it. Shall we switch the light on now? No! Right, now you can switch it on. It's a brown case. Yeah, hang on. Can you see it? No, I can't. Shall I come up? <laughs> no! Well, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. God. I think your mother put it with other cases if you can find them. Alan! Yeah, I found them! What is it there? I can't see if you both of you just shut up for a minute. Is it a brown leather case, but medium size? Have you found it? With a wonky cat. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Careful. You watch what you're doing. Ah, right. <laughs> you wait for me. Oh. Thanks. I don't remember all this. Is it the right case? I'm sure it is. I, d I don't remember. Look, do you think it's here? Oh, yes, sir. I'm sure it is. Oh, well, we'll take it into your room. No, 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 no. It's all right here. I'll find it. Oh, yes. It must be here somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. an old man. Yes, he is. I didn't know. Talking to him, the things I said. An old man. Hmm. Put your arms around me. Easy, little bit tight. baby. Easy. I'm going to break in pieces, small pieces. No, 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 mm. no. You're safe. I got you safe. God will punish me. For being beastly to an old man. I didn't know. Alan. It's all right. Shake my God, stop. All right. Sit. No one's going to punish you. I won't let them. Hmm? My stomach's sick. No, you can't be sick. You can't be sick here. You can't get to the bathroom. You can't get past him. <laughs> hmm? You all right? Mm, all right. Don't go away. Come and sit down. I'm sorry I haven't got a cigarette for you. No, that's right. going to do about him. I'm going to take him home with me. i look after him. When we go to Australia, I'm going to take him with me. He doesn't want to go to Australia. No. Put it another way, he doesn't want to live with me. Well, I can't, Alan, live here. No, of course you can't. You survive. Well, perhaps I ought... Should I? No! For pity's sake, what would you do with him? Look, baby, we've got it all set up. We can work him in and never notice. Well, he wants me to look after him. Yeah, well, he can't have everything he but Honestly, wants. if I, I mean, thought... Ellen's potty about him. I, I don't know why. And he's got the kids. Oh, look, don't let him. Little Sarah no, didn't... No, Ellen puts you know, little he'll Sarah promise to bed. And she might... Ellen tells the stories. Well, it's only because he loves, wants well, to little love. Little Sarah's got an infinite capacity for being loved. He'll do very well with her. Well, as long as... Just as long as you're She thinks aware. he's funny. She thinks he's sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's very old and she can't understand half the things he says to her. She won't come to any great harm. Look, couldn't you stay here? 
I mean, not just here, but here. I have to take that job. I thought I have you to. said. I, know what I said. I know what I said. Ellen? No. You, you all have a pretty wild picture of Ellen, don't you? Oh, I hardly know. Pushing me into things, making me pretty wild. But she wants you to take the job. She wants you to go to Australia. <clears throat> yes, she does. She's not going to change her mind. No. Well, not even now. No. Well, perhaps if you explain. I her... don't want to. I live. I've always lived here, near here. Do you think I want to? You're the one who always did the unexpected, wanted the adventures. You, round the world in 80 days. Me? Just home. Hmm? Quiet home, knowing every day where I'm going, where I belong. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't, does it? I'm going to Australia. Off into the wild... But you don't have to oh, go. simple, just like if that, you, you don't have to go. I have that to go. About it. Feel? Yeah. What? In language, you'll understand. Oh, it's a situation you'll understand. I go to Australia, I take Ellen and the kids and Dad to Australia and start a new life. Or I don't have Ellen and the kids. Oh, God. Right. You got it in one. I... I... fell in love. You had to tell Ellen, of course. No, I didn't have to. I did. A situation I understand. <laughs> mm. It is that girl... Oh, what's her name? I don't remember. It must be all of two years ago now, isn't it? I lent you my room when I was living there. Oh, everything gets no, it so isn't. confused, sort of run together. It isn't her. Funny, you know, I thought you'd be faithful. I mean, if you ever decided... Uh, her name was Pat. Is that right? No, I haven't seen her ten, eleven months. I didn't take to her. No, it oh, isn't Pat. Same things happen. Names and places and time, all piled on top, one on top of another. Give her up or I'll take the children away. No. Something like. Nothing like. Take us all to Australia. You have to take an old man on a one-way trip to his grave, cos you and your wife could... cos you go chasing... Oh, God, you would, wouldn't you? You get caught. Try and understand. <sighs> I'm sorry I hit you just now. It's suddenly seemed the only thing... Yes, I know. It's like that, really, is it? What do you mean? If you stay here. I'll see you again. Mm. Oh, yeah. You couldn't uh, think about it. Oof. I love her. How do you feel about Ellen? No, oh, unfair. Forget I said it. I know how you feel about Ellen. I've been told. Well, what do you mean? Well, it's not the first time, sweetie. You may feel unique. I'm sorry you're not. I have had the honour many times over of being a person, the person, selected by husbands for the special privilege of being told... You haven't got a cigarette. For the special privilege of being told how they feel about their wives in similar, really, very similar circumstances. You are not unique. Well, now we've got a problem, don't we? A pretty problem, Moriarty. What are we going to do? I'm sorry I had to tell you. Couldn't have to a nicer girl. I wasn't going to. I think I'll ask Dad. What? He'll have a cigarette. Well, have you done? I need a cigarette. Bite your nails, suck your thumb. He's happy now. Leave him alone. Well, you go to Australia, sweetie. You, Ellen, Michael, little Sarah, all of you. I'll stay and look after Dad. You do what? He wants to live here. Okay, he can live here. I'll move in with him. Oh, no, you won't. How long's he got, anyway? What, you could begin to look after him. Well, he wants me to. Surely that's more than half the battle, isn't it? Leave you two together under one roof. Well, I'll learn anyway. I've got other things to think about. You fight like cat and dog. Oh, you'll be surprised. I lived for a year with a man I hated, but hated. OK, so we hardly ever spoke, but at least we didn't fight. I got on with my life, he got on with me. Oh, this is ridiculous. He's lived here, what, 30 years? Longer than that. But you can't just ask him to walk out and never come back to it again. That's the best thing he could do. How do you know? No, it's obvious. You think just because she's dead, she isn't here everywhere. The longer he stays here, the longer he takes getting over losing Well, her. how long has he got anyway? Too long to spend his sitting around this house mourning but her. But if he wants to... He doesn't know what he wants. You do? If he's going to go on, yes, I do know. But why does he have to keep on, on going? Oh, don't you see? He can't stop, can he? Just stop. Well, people do. He's got five years 
Maybe more, I hope oh, many God, more. I away from this house, sake. somewhere new. Uh, suddenly you sound like Things to interest suddenly, him. Quite suddenly. You think he'd still be here if it wasn't for Mum? What do you think's kept him going all these years? Well, why does he have to keep going? Oh, don't be no, tell me, him. I want to know. He's why? He's alive. Well, so was Mum. She oh, was the one up. always said everyone shut has up. to keep on going. She wouldn't let God rest on the seventh day. Look here, in this house, on her own, she... Do you want him? To... I mean, leave him here. In a month, two months. Well, I'll be here. Will you? Let him stay. No. Let me have him. How long will it last? I mean, how long will you stay here, stay with him? Hmm? How long have you stayed anywhere? Three years with your husband? Well, supposing Dad lives longer than three years, what's going to happen to him when you decide to leave? He's an old man. You said that yourself. He should be allowed to rest. Oh, all right. All right. I leave him here with you. I go to Australia. Six months' time, well, three months, maybe, I get a telegram, come and get him. Oh, no. How do you know? But I'll stay with him, I swear that? to you. What does that mean? But please, Alan, believe me. The world me. is littered with people who believed you, believed you'd stay with them. Where are you now? That's not fair. It's true. I will. I promise I will. No, no, I can't take that chance. I promise. To love, honour and obey. What is it? Till death do us part. Are you dead? Is, is he, is, is Leonard that dead? That's a mistake. Yeah. I could make a home for Dad. As long as it suited you. Just that long. And no longer. You're certain, aren't you? Really certain. Deep down where it counts. Where the dirt settles thick, you're certain. <laughs> well, it serves me right, I suppose. Why should you believe me? Do I believe myself? <laughs> Do you want to pack that bag, or shall I? You know, what I think I'm trying to do is get in good with God. I think that's what I'm trying to do. You make up your mind, will you? I have this problem with God. I, I don't believe in them. All the same, I know he's there, watching me, waiting to go... Carl? Right, you're right. No, leave me. I'm happy down here. I think we've wasted enough time. I thought we were talking. Is that what we were doing, wasting time? I'd like to get packed and out of here as soon as possible. I mean, it doesn't seem worth going to all the trouble of being... Good, whatever that means. If he isn't there, it's all one great big con trick, the whole God bit, know what I mean? Come on. Ooh! Now, you pull yourself together. Right, you are right. Big Brother's always right. You want to stay here for your, by yourself? I'd while? leave him. I'd want to go, I don't know, somewhere on my own. I'd go. You'd be lucky even to get a telegram. No, I don't think you oh, would. Oh, yes, you do. No, no. Yes, well, I'm telling you, you're right. I'm me. Who's supposed to know better than me what I'm likely to do? Honestly, tell Honestly, me. Alan, that is the kind of girl I am, ask anyone. I, th I think you'd make Dad a wonderful home. Anyone who knows me, because not many people do, I see to that. It's just that with the baby and all that my to baby. think about, I think you'd have enough to do. Yes. Only, have you thought? No, people don't, do they? M mothers don't go off and leave. Only if I am that kind of girl, and I am, suppose when I've got the baby, I just go off one day and leave hers. Suppose I do that. Oh, you won't. Don't be silly. Well, you think of course I'll leave you won't. Oh, you're going to make a wonderful mother. A wonderful home, wonderful mother. Do you know, Alan, everything in your life is just bloody wonderful. Aren't you lucky? Look, Terry, just now, I said a lot of things. I'm sorry, I didn't mean them. Oh, that's all right, sweetie. That's called talking to people. I know you don't mean what you say. Nobody means what they say. The number of people that have said, I love you, I can't count them. I know they don't mean it. Oh, goodness, yes. The hours I've spent... You go on down, don't wait for me. I used to stand at this window day and night by the hour. Did you know? Yes, you know. Funny, I was never on my own then. I never felt on my own. I'll go and see how Dad's getting on. You hurt me saying those things. No, I'm sorry. Yes, I know. Still, you said them. They're here in my head saying sorry. That doesn't take them away. You couldn't look after him, though. I could try. Yes, of course. You wouldn't even let me try. Isn't time. But there's never time for people to do things, oh, good things. If people didn't always... Always? Oh, something about rushing, always having to rush. 
to the office, to the pictures, home, into bed, out of bed, back to their wives. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not fair. I'm sorry. I, I can't think at the moment, not properly. Every time I start, it always gets around to something about you, something beastly, because you hurt me. Mm. I think the most wonderful things, you know. Only there's never anyone to tell, or only the wrong one. I've given up telling the wrong one, because... I don't think they understand. And I think it frightens them. Mm. It's a kind of magic. Is it? Oh, yeah. I used to listen to you for hours. The only thing I remember, uh, really remember, about my childhood is uh, listening to you talk. I was always so much younger than you. About the time you were five, I started listening. I never really stopped. I didn't know. <laughs> you used, used to make up poems. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yes, you did. Yes, I know, I know, I did. I keep hoping little Sarah might, you know, some of it might show in her. I'd like to be able to listen again. I didn't mean to hurt you. As a matter of fact, you didn't say anything I hadn't said to myself 10,000 times. It's not the same. It just comes as rather a shock when you find someone else knows. I had no right to you say You didn't them. want Dad falling into the wrong hands. I didn't want you making promises because you felt sorry for Oh, no. Him. And then not being able to keep them. I don't feel sorry for him. I think it would hurt you if you made promises and broke them. I know all about that. Again? Oh, what you said, that's true. I think it would hurt you. I don't think I could stand it. No, you're right, thank you. That's why I said... I must be cruel. I love you. I love you, too. Alan! I think he's found it. <laughs> I found it! Well, that's going to make all the difference to our lives, isn't it? <laughs> that's all we need. Photograph of me and ten other roughs in shirt, shirt, football boots. I don't know how he got on so long without you. Helen, where are you? Here I am, Dad, coming. I've found it. I knew you would. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> Give us a hand. Look at all this. Yes. yes. There you are, and you won't find it if I went on looking for it long enough. Now, that's it. Uh, that <laughs> is definitely <laughs> the photograph. Hey, you see? Uh, there you are, Helen. Oh, handsome, uh, very handsome indeed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The first eleven, when was it? 1947. Uh, I was 12 years old. And looking every day of him. Gordon, isn't that Gordon? Yeah, it he is. He looks pretty pleased with himself. Of course, we all knew he was going to be made captain, but the day they told us... I don't think Gordon believed me. I went away into a small dark corner. And you cried? Did you actually cry? When I told him about the photograph, I don't think he believed I still had it. I was 17 years old. <gasps> I'd like him to see it. Yeah, I actually I, cried. I want to show it to Gordon. <laughs> yes, of course, Dad. The trouble is, you just don't look the type. Oh, I don't know. I look as tough as the next man. Who is the next Crying? one? Crying? He'd like to see it, wouldn't he? <laughs> no. Wouldn't he? Sorry, Dad, what? He'd like to see it, Gordon, wouldn't he? <laughs> you show him this, he'll very likely try and steal it off you. This was his finest hour. Mm -hmm. I'll take it with me. <laughs> right. I think we ought to be getting along because Ellen... Good grief, Ellen's been expecting us for the last hour. Have I got everything? You haven't got anything. Terry, push those few things into a case, will you? I'll clear up on here. So, well, what shall I do? You hang on to that photograph. You really want to take it with you. Mm. Dad, suppose you don't have to go. The kitchen's in an awful mess, Ellen. Dad. We ought to do something about it. You know, we just can't leave it. Suppose you don't have to go away. Suppose you could stay here. I can't. Suppose you could. I'm going with Alan. I'm going to live with Alan. But if I stay here... We're going to Australia. You don't have to. Ellen's expecting you us. You could live here. I don't want to. We ought to do something about the kitchen, Ellen. I'll talk to Mrs Hayter. Would she come in, do you think, and clear up some of the mess? I'm sure she will. I don't want to go leaving... Well, you, you know how your mother... Yes, I know. Mm. Well, I'll give you a hand, shall I, Ellen? You're all right. And you don't lose that photograph again. I'll tell you what, you give it to me. Now, off you go, Teddy, as quickly as you can. We don't want to keep Ellen waiting more than we have to. I can't tell you the things I found in this suitcase. You know, things that lost years ago. Huh? It's funny the way things turn up. We ought to go through it together. Yeah. Now, you'd be amazed the things there are hidden away in here. I'm sure. I'm afraid I've made an awful mess. Ah, no, no, no. I'll still get it cleared up. Ellen won't make a fuss, will she? 
How do you mean? Well, go to a lot of trouble, put herself out, you know what I mean. Oh, she's only got to move a few toys out of your room into Michael's room, that's no trouble. Mm, I don't want to be a bother. Oh. Funny. Seeing that photograph again brought it all back. Yeah? Saturday afternoons. Oh, my goodness, it used to get cold sometimes. <laughs> Certainly did. Yeah, I could never understand. Other things. What? Things we did together. Yesterday I was trying to remember. And then I saw the photograph and everything. We used to walk. Do you remember when you were quite small, we used to walk to the end of the road together? Didn't we? There was a river, and it was quite a small river. How old was I? Well, you thought it was a great adventure. At the end of the road? No, it's not there now. It was a long time ago. Uh, oh, Riverdale Avenue. There's all the fields there. Yeah, I can remember when they built those houses. Mother and I used to take you in the pram. You were quite a baby. We used to play there. Fast as they put them up, we used to pull them back. It was all fields and open. Chased off there more times than I... Dad? What's the matter there? What is it? I didn't know. What do you mean? You didn't know what? She was going to... I didn't know. No, no, of course you didn't. I was up here. I was thinking, you know. Yes, I know. There must have been some noise. I didn't hear. I try not to think about it. Mm. It doesn't help thinking about it. If she called me, I... Maybe she did. She called me just... I wasn't listening. Things... Your mother and I, things that weren't... Some things... were never easy, but... She couldn't talk about them, you see. Talk to me about them. It was all so long ago, before you... Before you were born. Ah, oh, easy, Dad. Easy. Let him say it. If you want to tell you, someone, you can listen, can't you? I didn't mean to hurt her. I didn't know. I, I mean, you don't think. I didn't think. Hurt her? That first night, I, I wanted... I loved her. I wanted so much. didn't think about her, just what I wanted. Always, after that, always, she never, never once in all the years, the years and years, looked at me, asked me, Come on, Dad. She's let go of us. Come on home. Why shouldn't we just walk away? It was all so very long ago. I... You don't think... It couldn't have been all these years. It couldn't have been... Why? No. It couldn't have been, could it? No, it couldn't. Oh, I think we ought to be getting along. I'll just... If there's time, I'll just go to the bathroom. We'll wait for you downstairs. Yes, all right.
after you. Ah, uh, fetch your coat. You gonna put it on? What a fantastic memory Dad has. He was talking just now, you know, seeing all the photographs and guff and everything. Some things he remembers. He was telling me about you and him. How you used to walk down to the end of the road together. Yeah. You know? That was a while ago. Riverdale Avenue, when it was just fields down there. Mm. You used to stand and look at the river. You thought it was a great adventure. Yes, I did. I can't have been more than two or three at the time. Did you remember that? Yeah, he was just talking about it. I'm sorry now, just getting at Dad like that. No, not to worry. Suddenly I wanted him to stay here more than anything else in the world. Yeah, once Dad's made up his mind or something, is it? coat down there, Alan. Yes, Dad, I got it. Um, Mum gave gladly to little Sarah. What? Gladly. She found him playing around the house one day. That was your name for him? Your name for him? I called him Teddy, as far as I remember. Does she love him? Loves him to death, sleeps with her every night. Well, perhaps when she's finished... If there's him. anything left of him, Benny. Have you spoken to Mrs. Hayter, Alan? I'll phone her, Dad. As soon as we get home. <laughs> 